What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an impromptu review, and in this case it's going to be about a YouTube web series that I came across via a YouTube recommendation, and it's by a YouTuber named Darth um, Angelus, or Angelus, who's creating an unofficial animated adaptation of the Star Wars novel or trilogy, Heir to the Empire, so... From the recommendation, I got intrigued both because I'm a sucker for Thrawn and what he's up to in the Star Wars universe, so I decided to give it a watch to see how it was, how it, if it was any good or bad or anything like that, and overall I want to say that it's definitely something I recommend worth watching. Um, the animation style does take some getting used to, and I do recommend not really focusing too much on the mouth movements as I didn't find that they hold up really well. It's kind of, but it felt kind of along the lines of the, or it wasn't too far off from the uh, Luke Skywalker animation that we saw at the end of The Mandalorian Season 2. So I don't want to say that's necessarily bad. It does stand out if you start um, looking into it a little bit more. But when you look into it, or when you watch the series as a whole for the uh, voice acting, overall animations, um, perspective shots and all of that. Overall, the um, show or the episodes are worth watching and very well produced. Um, I'm, I got through the 10 episodes and I want to say a day and a half, if that. Um, they're relatively short as well, so it's not like you're spending, you know, a week to watch, you know, 10 hour long episodes, but um, overall is very well done. It's not done yet, so the pro series is still ongoing, but based on the 10 episodes that are available so far, um, the series is um, entertaining. I enjoy, and because I want to say Thrawn is more of the star of the series, that his animations are, are are my favorite. And it's good to see the various characters from those the Heir to the Empire novels showing up. So of course we're going to have the trilogy of Luke, Leia, and Han. We have uh, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2 also showing up. And then on the flip side we have... Grand Admiral Thrawn, of course, and then um, Admiral or Captain Paleon as well. And then about halfway through, we have um, Joris Seabouth showing up. So um, we have that story arc. And then, of course, the smuggler and pirate Talon Card showing up with Mara Jade. So not too much on that front yet. But as I said, this looks like the series is still ongoing. So... Um, I'm sure we're going to have a lot more screen time with them. But if you're a fan of the Heir to the Empire novels, if you're a fan of Thrawn, or even just a fan of Star Wars, then I recommend watching the series. I'll have a link in the show notes to the playlist for the videos, so you guys can check them out as well. But overall, I want to recommend watching it. It's uh, generally very well done, and um, it's enjoyable to watch. So for me, if... There's something related to Thrawn I want to read about or watch it and all of that. And especially something like this where we're having an animated creation of it, then I want to help promote it. So, um, as I mentioned, it's a unofficial animated adaptation of the Heir to the Empire novels. So, um, definitely worth a watch. They're available on YouTube, so um, I would do recommend watching them. That's really all there is to say for that. I mean... If I were to give it a grade as of right now, I'd probably give it about a A minus B plus. I'm leaning towards more more towards the A minus range, um, just because of the. I mean, I'm not a uh, animator or anything like that, and just speaking from an unofficial amateur view of it, it's one of those things where it's not not necessarily my style, so I can't really say that. Um, that's why I kind of can't say that it's good or bad. It's not really my style, but when you look at it a whole, it generally just works. And the thing that throws me off a little bit are the character models for Luke, Leia, and Han. So they're kind of off. And I mean, part of it is also, I'm sure the guy doesn't want to really want to get a lawsuit for using the likeness of Mark Hamill, um, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford. So that's always a side thing, but... The, in general, it just works when you look at it as a whole, so um, I recommend watching it and following him, subscribing to his channel and all of that good stuff so you um, can stay on top of it, and that's really all there is for that. Um, that's why, it's, like I said, it was an impromptu review. I thought I'd share it and um, give you guys an update on what some of the stuff that I'm watching that's not necessarily... 
um, uh, something that's very mainstream. So um, that's all there is for this review. So um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this review, and until next time.